Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can calculate your average investment cost when you're averaging down. So when a stock has, has fallen in value, when you wanna average down, I'll show you how you can calculate what that new average will be. And I'm gonna show you how you can do that without creating a complex template. Instead, if you have access to the latest version of Excel, I'm gonna show you how you can create a Lambda function, which is just basically a custom function that you can reuse over and over again. So in this example, I've got a $10,000 investment. I own 50 shares, and so my average cost is $200. And so let's say the stock has gone down, and I wanna calculate what my new average is gonna be, or how low I can get my average. So I'm gonna create a few inputs here to make this easier to, to set up. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna build this logic and how the Lambda function is going to work. So I'm gonna specify the current price so let's say right now it's it's gone down to let's say fifty dollars. So I bought it at two hundred. It's gone down drastically, down to fifty dollars. And what's my budget? Let's say I can afford to spend another five thousand dollars to to put into this into this investment. So based on those constraints, I can now calculate what my average would be or how far I can average down. So let's say I'm going to purchase five thousand dollars more. Uh, in in that stock and if I'm purchasing five thousand dollars and the current price is fifty dollars that means I can buy a hundred more shares um, in the business so that average obviously is gonna be five thousand divided by hundred is gonna be fifty dollars now my new average is gonna be the sum of these investments I've invested fifteen thousand dollars my share count is 150 and so my new average is a hundred dollars so i went from two hundred dollars my original investment bought five thousand dollars more shares at fifty dollars and that brought my average down to a hundred so how can i create this within a lambda function i'm going to show you how we can do that so to create a lambda function what we're going to do is go to the formula tab click on name manager so we're creating a named range so i choose what this is and I'm gonna click on new and I'm gonna call this average down. That's the name of the function that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use Lambda to tell Excel that this is a custom function that I'm specifying. And so what I need to specify are my arguments. So I'm gonna type in INV for my initial investment and then comma shares for the number of shares that I own right now then my budget because obviously i need to know how much i can afford afford to invest and then the stock price right now so those are my inputs and now the last argument in a lambda function is how all those different variables are going to work together so in parentheses i'm going to take the the total investment and add the budget to it because that's going to be my total investment and i'm going to divide that by the number of shares I have plus the number of shares I can buy at the current price. And in that case, I'm gonna take the budget divided by the price. So that tells me how many additional shares I can buy. And then it's just a matter of closing this out. There we go. So I've created my average down function. That's the description here. That's my formula that I've got. So I'm gonna close this. And now let's test this out. So I'm gonna type in equals average down. So now you can see I've got my different inputs. So I, I've got my initial investment, so I've got that 10,000. Got the number of shares, which, which is 50. My budget, which is 5,000. And then the current price, which is $50. So now I close this out and I get $100. So the same thing that I, that I worked through to create this, you know, I've been able to adjust or to calculate just by using this average down function this lambda function that i created right within excel so it's a lot easier and this way you can modify your inputs quickly without necessarily having to create a complex uh, a complex template and you can use this all over your your worksheet wherever you want so you know anytime you want to do these calculations you can just change the inputs you don't have to reference um these values um as well i mean whether i type in 50 or i reference that value it doesn't matter, but it makes it dynamic enough and 
in case these values change. So let's say the, the stock price is really $75. So then it tells me I can average down to a new average of 128.57. So let's test it out. Let's change this value to 75. And that tells me again, that's gonna be 128.57. So I can either create a template to do this, uh, do this calculation, or I can create that custom Lambda function, which I can reuse in my spreadsheet. So by doing it that way, it's a lot more versatile, easy to reuse over and over again. So Lambda functions are really powerful. They're useful um, and can create custom functions without the need for Visual Basic or any coding whatsoever. But you do need to be running the latest version of Excel. If you don't have that, I do have an average down calculator on my website that you can access. And I'll leave a link in the description for this video. So if you just wanna to go to a web page and do those calculations without having to even um, use a spreadsheet or use a Lambda function, you can go on my website easily and just quickly type that in, type in your inputs and determine what you can average down to. So hope you found this video useful. Thanks so much for watching.